Hi there, it's Orion, the editor and producer of Transmission Folklore. Um, just wanted to give you all a heads up that we are finally back on schedule. Um, we'll be releasing episodes every two weeks. And uh, let's see, our next episode is actually supposed to be coming out on Friday, July 10th, 2020. Uh, we appreciate y'all's patience as we try to figure all of this out. Um, it was a little bit hectic there for the first several episodes, um, but we're really excited to be able to get back on track. Thank y'all so much, and time to get into the episode. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> Worse than almost drowning. Why are you mocking me? You're being a tiny bit dramatic, don't you think? Not at all. Hand me the 316th head. The Lavender Lemonade Collective presents Transmission Folklore. Is it this one? Yes. And they're all not that bad. Auto shops are there for you. I expect bagels to be there for me. Bagels are good. This bagel is stale, looks bad, and tastes gross. Oh my god, it's not that bad. It might as well have mold on it. What are you doing? Why are you posing on the car? You see the really cute them? Pink Leia buns? Yeah, them. I'm trying to give off a sexy mechanic. You're giving off kind of bewildered and definitely scared. Oh, oh, God. Okay, uh, <laughs> uh, it does like putting my arm up on the hood like this help. It makes it worse. That person is really cute, though. Oh, oh, God, what if they walk up? Say hi. I can't do that. Hey there, I'm sorry to bother y'all, but do you have a 116th socket? God. I know, my kid didn't have one. Stupid, right? Yeah, it's real stupid. You said 116th? Yes, please. You from around here? Nah, heading up to Montana to visit my ex's daughter. She has a ballet recital next month. Is your call that you call over there? No. Haha, <laughs> very funny. We broke up. I like her kid though, and do LGBTs ever really say goodbye? Here! Uh, I, uh, I found the 116. Thanks! So, are you two, like, a thing? Um, no. It's an arrangement of circumstance. He's an associate from college. Not into it, even a little. Aw, why? Just not my thing. I'm sorrow. Callie Rose. Good meeting you, Callie. Where are y'all heading? Don't know. We're hunting Bigfoot. Really? Yeah. Carter there, he's an expert in folklore. And he's pretty sure he's got the final Bigfoot down. Alright, Carter? I'm a, I'm a folklore major. Hi, uh, Carter Corrin. Damn. I'll be looking for y'all on the news. I'll be looking for little dancer from Montana makes it big on the news. You'll see her. She's an awesome little girl. Bye. Carter, do you never talk to cute people? No. They walked away. I'm sweaty. You're working on the car. It's hot. Louisiana in February can be like that. I know that. One of my moms lives here. But it's so hot. You have two moms? That's dope. Yeah. Bianca and Adeline. It's not as dope as it sounds. Am I supposed to ask you to talk about it? Dear God, no. Ugh. 
I'm sweating so much and it's nasty. You're sweating from the sun. Do you get sweaty when you look at cute people? I mean, I look into the mirror often, so no. Don't they make you woo-woo? You can say horny, you don't have to meme it. No, it's 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 not like I mean like uh, I mean it's like uh you want to hold a pretty person's hand and I wouldn't mind holding a pretty person's hand. I have terrible luck with dating though. You, you did date a siren. Yeah, who turned out to be a real asshole. Should I bring up the drowning? I know about the drowning. Not even just that. What else happened with you guys? A lot. Care to be specific? Emery is a total soul sucker. Not in the traditional sense. I mean, not all magical like that. But like, I'd say something, right? I'd say, hey Em, I'm having a bad day. And they'd make it about them and how clearly they had caused my bad day. And I'd be dealing with the bad day and also like promising them they weren't at fault. And that'd make me feel worse and then I'd feel guilty for feeling worse. And then I'd want to go out. And they'd tell me they didn't want to go out. And they'd ask me to clean their place. They'd spend, we'd, we'd spend a lot of time together, just the two of us. At first, it was really sweet. I mean, you get to have this nice moment and this nice time with someone who means a lot to you. But then, then you can't do that. Because something happened. Something is bad and you feel bad and everything is awful. Yeah, so that's how my last relationship went. Okay. I almost died at a zoo because of my last relationship. What? So, like, that's a little over dramatic, but, like, <laughs> my last boyfriend, Greg, he was this big and hulky and, like, very hot, sort of. He was hot at the time. Picks. Oh, what? Pics. I want to see how hot. I didn't ask for pics of your ex. You've seen my ex. They're pretty. I guess. Or a siren. They're pretty. Pretty goddamn murderous. Okay, well, Greg, he brought me to the zoo. It was supposed to be cute and romantic or whatever, but it was hot. And I forgot my inhaler, and... I needed a new binder because mine had shrunk, and being the fool that I am, I wore the shrunk binder. <sighs> we spent, like, forever looking for pandas. He wanted to see them so bad that he wouldn't just give up. So we went to the zoo and looked for the pandas, and long story short, I ended up, like, halfway in with the panda. You ended up in the panda container? Most people call them enclosures. It contains pandas, does it not? Oh my god. So did Greg push you? <laughs> yeah, ish. Just my top half, though. Ugh, men. He says he didn't push me in. He's a liar. Did you dump him? I just... Didn't talk to him for two months and hoped he got the hint. Probably he didn't. There's probably Greg out there now looking for you. I hope not. He's probably got a banjo begging for his baby back. Oh my god, what if he is? It was two years ago, but what if he is? I got a real streetcar moment. Stella! <laughs> I need to text him right now. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'd like to think you dated a sensible guy. He pushed me into the pandas. Yeah, okay. It does sound like he sucked. 
I told people we broke up because long distance was too hard. Why? We had a lot of the same friends. And he pushed you into a fucking panda container? That's shitty. Well, it's over. Got any other horror stories? Yeah. I dated someone who only wanted me for my chem knowledge. Yikes. It's fine. I ate him. Um... It's a joke. I did kick his ass in a debate. Really? Yeah, it was good. Should we try to start her back up? Yeah, let me sit down. I didn't think you were gonna fix it. I don't know why you doubt me. At last, cool air. Let's just get going. Where should we go? I... I don't know. Like I said... Didn't think you'd fix it. I'll keep driving then. We'll find something. Huh. I guess it's good I'm taking all online classes. Oh my god, you still care about school? Uh, I mean, yeah. This isn't all my life is going to be. Is it? Sorrel? I don't know. What aren't you telling me? I, I don't know. <sighs> Keep driving along the Mississippi. Why? Just drive. You're getting hard to deal with. Okay. Drop me off then. Stop running. You know like I do. They're gonna come find you. What did you do to them? I pissed them off. I told you. So what do we do? Keep along the Mississippi. That's where we go. We find something. There's a place my friends from an RP group have. <laughs> you roleplay? Got a problem with it? No. No, I just didn't expect it. Turn the car alarm off! Sorry. I keep it on the DL. Who do you roleplay? Mostly original characters. Any fandoms? It's not relevant. If I guess... Mostly fantasy fandoms. And I'm only telling you because you're probably thinking I'm like Homestuck. Huh. Who do you roleplay? Oh, I don't. Okay, but you write fan fiction. No, I've gone to a couple of cons and I like to make cosplays, but I don't write. I'm not that kind of creative. Huh. Not all of us are nerds. Whatever. You're mad because I found out you're a nerd. No, I'm mad because your eyes aren't on the road. I'm being safe. Be safer. Can I ask you one more thing? Sure. Whatever. Who was your character? I had a couple. Uh, my longest one was Alice Adelaide. They were a terrible creature with wings of fire. Fire? Yeah. I like to set stuff on fire. Like, for real? Or in your RPs? In the RPs, Christ! Do you think I just go around setting stuff on fire? I mean, maybe. I don't want to set shit on fire. I had a power, I think it would be... Invisibility. I know. No. What is it? Flight. I'd want to do flight. I want to see the whole world from the skies. That's... like fake deep? It's not fake deep. You think it's real deep? 
I love this song. You do. Do you not have it in you to be nice? No, I don't. I'm exhausted from all the running, from all the shit I didn't mean. So you're the bad one in the relationship? Two people can be bad. Three missed voicemails. First missed message from Monday at 4.32 p.m. It's been days, Sorrel. Days. You think you can run forever, but you aren't especially good at running. I've seen you run. You're not very fast, and you look ugly when you sweat. I know I'd tell you you look fine, but... We both know you looked bad. Yellowed stains and pink-faced. It's embarrassing. Your skin was not meant to be flushed. I can imagine you now, so full of fear, full of disappointment. What do we do with sorrow? We're both wondering that, Carter and I. Second missed message. Tuesday at... 5.23 p.m. It annoys me when you don't call me back. I mean, I told you something fun. I know his name now. It took me a while, but it's not hard to find these things out. People are so willing to help from the school. You want me to leave him alone, don't you? You're so quick to bounce from one person to the next. You haven't stopped to ask who you're hurting. It's not just me. Call me back, prick. Last missed message today at 3.20 p.m. I hate you. We ended this relationship like most relationships do. Hate fucking to try and preserve what was. And I am tired of hate. So, I'm going to finish this. I will let everyone know all the secrets you're keeping. Especially the boy. Especially Carter. End of messages. This episode of Transmission Folklore was written by Mick Coates. Carter is voiced by Orion Iber. Sarl is voiced by Mick Coates. Callie is voiced by Aspen Bickle and Emery is voiced by Tal Minear. This episode was edited by Orion Ivory. Special thanks to our supporters on Patreon and Ko-fi. You can support us by following us at patreon.com slash lavenderlem, or follow us on Twitter or Facebook at lavenderlem. Make sure to check out our website at transmissionfolklore.com. This episode's cryptid is The Influential Sasquatch. Just leave them be, okay?